Hey guys, welcome back to Jam Draws. Thank you for joining. So today I'm reviewing Kuratake Gensai Tanbi watercolors from Japan. Gensai's are traditional Japanese watercolors and they are meant to be more richer in opacity than their counterparts like from USA or Europe. If that sounded like I read it off a wiki, it's because I did. Let's open up the box and look inside. As you can see, it comes with some swatch paper inside and some swatch paper stuck to the lid as well for some reason. So I got the 48 color one. So I think the reason that it comes with a swatch paper inside and one on the lid is because if you lose the swatch paper, you still have the lid for it and you can have a reference sheet on the top. I actually find swatch paper is quite useful. It really helps uh, when you're trying to match the colors of uh, painting that you're doing with the reference picture. But I guess if you lose the swatch paper and the lid, I think you would have a bigger problem keeping your colors together. Back to the box. Uh, these colors look quite nice. I was actually saying how they actually look like makeup palettes, to be honest. Uh, especially the light hitting it, it looks so vibrant. Almost, almost like a almost like a candy I don't know about you uh, which is funny because they actually do have uh, a lot of edible ingredients like honey and other vegetable ingredients also have beeswax in them but I don't think you should go eat them anytime though I'm just showing you my other watercolor that I have the palettes for it versus these palettes which are quite big but I think they will still contain the same amount of paint though because they are quite wide and and not that deep where these are very very deep and they kind of fill to the brim and you don't really need much of the other color to get going but as you can see inside of the paint there is also the name written on it so you don't displace your paint and have to uh, get the wrong color by accident because if you're following your swatch paper uh, and you end up grabbing the wrong paint, it can be a bit of a disaster. So I'm just preparing up the swatch paper. They're drying out quite well. Um, these are quite vibrant colors to start off with, except for a couple that you will see. There are a couple of blues in there that are not as vibrant, but they're still very, very good. I really like the different shades of green because I'm normally only used to working with about 12 colors and have to do all the mixing myself but these over here are so many different shades of greens blues and purples and pinks and reds and yellows and it's just very exciting to work with them and it just means that i don't really need to spend that time mixing them colors uh, to do my painting um so over here i'm just drawing a quick sketch uh, nothing too extravagant of a tuk-tuk in Thailand it's not my photo it's once again a photo that I found on Pinterest um, Pinterest is great because you can kind of think about any kind of inspirations I've been using it quite a lot to do different kind of drawings um, Thailand on the other hand though is actually one of my favorite places to be um, and it's, it's up there with Japan and Korea it's just great atmosphere, very relaxed. And uh, to be honest, I only rode a tuk-tuk twice in my life while I was over there. And I lived there for a little bit uh, because I just love the culture and the people. Uh, people normally daily life don't really take tuk-tuks that much. It's more of a tourist thing. Um, they are fun to ride, uh, but it's something that I think reserved more for the people who come to visit Thailand other than who stay there. You won't really see it very much in the rural areas other than if it's like a touristy rural area that you will see tuk-tuks. People normally just get the grab app and use that. But I can ramble on and on about how much uh, I like Thailand and I miss Thailand. But uh, um, Back to the drawing, so I'm trying out the colors over here. Uh, as you can see, they, they go on quite light, but they actually dry later that you will see almost like the Copic markers, which I find quite interesting because the Copic markers are also made in Japan. And uh, these these colors, like they, they go on very vibrant, but they kind of dry matte, but there's still a bit of uh, a shine to it. And 
and you can you can play around with the colors a lot longer than normal watercolors um, i will do a review on my other colors that i have so i have uh, another palette uh, of watercolors and i forgot the name of that actually but uh, it, it's also a good good brand of watercolors but it's more of a travel size pack which only contains like 12 as you saw back in the video 12 colors in the in the tin <laughs> but as you see uh like i can i can play around longer with the color after i apply it onto the page i can move it around and it mixes quite well so the thing with these colors these japanese watercolors is that you're not supposed to mix them in the palette you're supposed to lay them on and mix them on your paper and it, and it comes up to a nicer mix in this sense i don't think i'm doing uh these colors as big of a justice as i should as i'm still new to using these watercolors this is the first time i'm using japanese style watercolors uh so it will take me a bit of time to i think really really get my hand uh, and my head around these colors but at, at the moment i still like how they dry out though uh, by the time you guys see this video uh, i would have have already done finished another watercolor with it so this is a recording after that that watercolor so when i did that one it actually turned out quite quite pleasant and uh, i got a bit more of a hang of it than i did on this one and you can see how how nice that that color looks in that one as well so i hope hopefully you guys um stick around to watch that just do my singer just splatting over here at the moment uh but yeah tell, tell, tell me what you guys think in the comments below if you guys have ever used this form of watercolor or or would like to use it i actually did a giveaway on my instagram um for a 12 palette of this and somebody from uh, India has won it, uh, some young kid, so hopefully he likes them, it's the end of the video, thanks for watching, please subscribe and like and comment down below, and uh, have a good day guys, see you next time, thank you, bye!